Hey guys and welcome back and yes it's been a red hot minute since uh, I've actually recorded something because I have been at uni which some of you guys may remember or know if you've been following me. So anyway we're going to get into today with a quick Kmart haul and I do have a few other things from Adairs and Target that I will share with you as well so I'll probably put them more to the end of the video so if you want to continue watching you can do so. And let's jump into today's video. First up, this is the item that I got from Kmart. These gorgeous gold earrings. Uh, I'd actually eyed off a pair at Michael Hill and they were like $400. And I don't really have $400 at the moment. <laughs> and also, I don't know whether it's going to suit me because I've bought earrings previously and... Um, I buy them because they're just so stunning and then I wear them and I don't think that they suit me. So uh, I think this is a good way, you know, of knowing whether something suits you is to buy, you know, the fake pair and see. So yeah, $4. You can't go wrong for $4. It is a little bit heavier than what I liked. Um, usually I don't like anything that you can see sort of stretching my earlobe that little bit. So yeah, I think I would definitely get those Michael Who one. Hill ones when I can afford to do so if they still have them in stock because I really love them and I think I could see myself honestly wearing them on a daily basis. Okay, so got some goodies here. Um, some of these, I'm hoping they'll be excited as I am. <laughs> but yes, I don't normally buy clothes from Kmart. Why? Because I don't believe in fast fashion. Um, so the things that I do buy, I want to be able to have for years and years. So, uh, to be honest, everything that I'm wearing right now is from the op shop. Um, I pretty much buy all my clothes from the op shop unless it is shoes or underwear. I'm pretty, I don't like to go there. Just, no. Anyway, so just so you know, just a bit of a disclaimer. But how can you go past this? It's a periwinkle blue. I'm obsessed in periwinkle blue. It is stunning. It's like a bit of a ribbed $8. What a bargain. And uh, to get me away from black is good too because I wear way too much black. But how cute is that? I was so obsessed in this colour this year that I actually bought the Steph Pace Planner uh, Periwinkle Blue as well. I just love this colour. I'm an absolute sucker for it. So, yes, I'll pop some pictures on the screen of what it looks like on. But I love this. Such a good bargain. Uh, I honestly say the sizes, size 10, usually in... Kmart stuff I find it bigger so I'll usually go a six because I usually wear an eight but this here I feel like was a bigger uh, sorry a smaller fit so I actually went for the size 10 straight up the other clothing item again I don't normally buy clothing I'm pretty fussy anything I buy that I wear I'm really fussy I always try it on even in op shops um, this is actually filthy at the moment because I've been wearing the hell out of it at work but I did get this Everlast one. I think they might be on clearance at the moment. This is in the kids department though. So the thing that I liked about it was the inside is the same fluffy as the outside. That was my requirements because I wanted something that I could wear out that looked nice. And they did have one other... Uh, I think it had a small zipper there and it looked a bit daggy. I wouldn't wear it out. It'd be something I'd wear around the house. So they did have a long one um, like that. It wasn't like an Everlast one. It was just a cheaper one. Um, but yeah, it just it didn't cut the mustard for me. Um, I wanted something I could wear out. So that is what I got. I think it's super, super cute. As I said, it is filthy. Uh, this here is a size 14 kids. And I normally do wear like an 8 or a 10 in ladies. Um, so yeah, that's sort of size-wise. And this one was actually longer than the adults ones as well. So the adults Everlast fluffy ones didn't have the same fluffy on the inside and they were shorter. They were cropped. And I can't wear cropped things. Like I don't. All my all my fat sits on my waistline. The next one I got was this cotton rich pillowcase. This one here was $6. This is a European pillowcase. So as you can see behind me, I do have a couple of Euro pillows. And I've just been buying one pillowcase just to uh, make it just a bit different. Um, so I don't not using all these throw cushions. So yeah, six dollars. And this is I don't know what color. It doesn't say the color. I'm gonna say it's more of a. It's not the navy blue. It's a bit lighter than the navy blue. Um, yeah, it doesn't have a color written on it. But 
I'm hoping the quality is good because it's six dollars like it's very very cheap uh, the other thing that I did get from there as well was the cotton fitted sheets nothing very exciting these are deep though I have a pillow top mattress worst thing I ever did because it's so hard for me to make the bed it's super heavy but this is the packaging here these were $27 this is just the deep sheet it hasn't got a flat sheet or the pillow cases because I've got them already from another set and I just needed a fitted sheet so I was just saving money and honestly saving the environment as well by just buying the fitted one because I'm working in a super cold place ridiculously cold I got a thermal um, I can honestly say I don't, I'm not impressed by it uh, I did buy it knowing that I probably won't love it which is crazy because I bought it but I'm so desperate for something warm because where I am I'm working outside so much because I'm working in a standalone kinder at the moment and um, when we go over to the school especially they're all there's no trees like the trees that they've get it out <laughs> there's no trees they've like planted trees but they're like tiny and then there's farmland and it's just like it's just honestly just wind just coming straight through so uh, yeah it's crap it's too cold now this one here is a target one um, I ended up getting the blue stripe uh, European pillowcase so when I do change it over to the blue bedding which I did mention in the makeover video that I did um, I'll use those two so I'm probably just more on the hunt now for uh, like a little cushion to go over if I do change it over so uh, the reason why I got the blues is because I've got blues and greys in the tiling in the bathroom and the laundry just to give us consistency throughout the house and then these colors I've got in a lot of my decor so I want to create that consistency so yeah just when I swap things over that's the best thing about having a white uh, bed set and if you do like the white bed set um, I'll show you in a minute it's actually the gazelle one from Kmart I can't remember the pricing because I bought it I think two years ago and they've still got them in stock so yeah but this one here was $25 what was it called it's called the reed striped linen and cotton European pillowcase so that's what it's called I think it's a bit pricey uh, considering that at Target they are $6 it doesn't actually tell me a thread count on it either but yeah I'm still pretty happy with it though because it's such a gorgeous color so anyway that is all the Kmart goodies today I'm gonna to quickly I flip here around and I'll share with you all the other stuff that I got which was like Target and Adairs because I've all got it styled for you and yeah okay so this is the bedding that I got from Target if you guys did miss it so I'm gonna quickly run through it as fast as I can because you've already seen it if you I've been watching um, this one here was $17 they're just some pinstriped pillowcases so that was for the two pack and then I got this beautiful uh, this is a eucalyptus cushion with tassels it's got a nice um, like texture to it and on the other side it's got more of a plane so you can sort of switch it around and then I got this linen pinstripe uh, European pillowcase that was $25 so a little bit more pricey so yeah that's just how my bed ended up looking with that little makeover which I thought was super cute and really realistic if you don't want to be pulling heaps of cushions off the bed at night time now this is a new one and I haven't shared this one with you so I actually did need a new blanket for the bed so I ended up with this one this is actually from Adairs so I have this it's called a shepherd throw and it's got this this is well loved like this is over 12 months old so um, it's got this beautiful soft furry on both sides but we just absolutely love it so when they had their 40% off sale I got this color uh, in a king queen size blanket and this is a stone color if you like the color so the reason why I went this color which is a little bit different is because I want to change this bedding up so I've got blue bedding as well so anyway um that is how that bedroom makeover looked i did end up uh getting some more stems as well so those uh big eucalyptus uh not eucalyptus um 
gum nut ones these ones here are from Adairs as well so I got them on their sale too just another couple just to make it look a bit bushier but um yeah that's this is all current stock so if you're interested I'll try and remember to leave all those details in the description box for you so I'm not gonna lie to you guys this term is gonna be really really hard for me at uni because I'm going to be on placement and working and going to uni still so what that means for me is I have my uni assignments and then I've got my extra work from placement and I still have to go to work and I have to pick up an extra day a week and I have no time to study <laughs> so um, yes that's probably gonna mean that there is going to be a lot of weeks missed on YouTube unfortunately um, but that is the reality of life uh, right now YouTube does not pay me very much at all and um, so if it did I could afford to work less hours and then still produce videos but unfortunately it is like yeah pocket change pretty much so uh, at the moment I have to do what's right for my family and right for me at the moment to make sure that my mental health is okay and yes I'm studying mental health at uni so um, yeah it's been really interesting and very challenging and really exhausting and all the feels in the world anyway I'll get back to you on that one I'm going to be doing a declutter full home declutter video and I will share with you some more of that's what's going on and I'll catch up with you soon I'll see you then bye